The Diamond City has lost its shine due to a lack of service delivery. Kimberley is faced with decaying infrastructure, potholes, sewer spills and dry taps. Residents blame poor governance and mismanagement of funds for the dire state of affairs. Meanwhile, Premier Zamani Saul has promised to set aside two and a half billion rand to address the challenges. ENCA Sondri Naidu visited the city to find out if throwing money at the problem is the answer. Kimberley, one of the Northern Cape's economic hubs, has become a hopeless city for its residents. The water is dropping the standard of living and increasing the cost of living. There's no service delivery that issue that there is not. Everything, it's from roads to water. And the Soplaki municipality and the ruling party, the ANC, have failed the city dismally. Elderly residents at the Minerva Garden Retirement Village often go days without water. They say they have to collect water from family members in the city to fill their washing machines and take a bath. The sequestration van ons sukkel. Hier waar ons sit in Minerva Garden, sies baie ou mense. Is mense wat nie kan water dra nie. Wat dit onmoendlik is vir hulle om water in hulle huis te kry. Hulle moet iemand kry speciaal om die water te bring en dan kost het geld. Dit kost vir die geld vir iemand om te hier om die water in die huis in te dra. In Homeville, one of the city's township residents have to endure the smell of sewage which spills into their yards. They also refrain from drinking the tap water and says after it's been off for days it tastes different. Sy water proe nie weer die sê alde nie. Nou en dan proe die water aan soos tjek of nou en dan proe het so moederig. So ons kan nie redig weer die kraan water drinkie van as een probleem. Hier kan nie het ons in die huis en ons maak het klaar vol sê nie en staan het maar nou net daar. Maar het kan ook nie verlang staan nie wanneer moet ons het weer uitgooi en skoon water weer ingooi. Residents say they often report leaking pipes to the municipality. Repairs are done at times, but many are not attended to. We have two leaking pipes in one street. It's literally centimeters apart from each other, and it's currently not even attended to after being reported on many occasions in the past two weeks. So service delivery, it's, it's bad. The Soplaki municipality mayor says officials are taking a rigorous approach to deal with the crisis. We want to apologize to the residents of Kimberley for the water cuts that they're experiencing from time to time. This is because of the old infrastructure and the bus pipes that we're encountering from time to time. But we have embarked on a process in ensuring that we put systems in place to ensure that we respond to this challenge. The community have also raised issues about the excessive number of potholes. They say motorists have to drive on the pavement to avoid damaging their cars. Should we experience a severe rain, please believe over an hour, two hours, we cannot stand like we are standing here. Residents, taxpayers are taking the initiative to fill the potholes in front of their driveways. Because, I mean, Today we are right, we, we're driving fancy cars, modern cars, and the, the potholes, it's not, it's really, it's not acceptable for the cars and as well as for us as pedestrians, because you don't know should you give way for the pothole or should you give way for the car. The mayor has promised to reseal Kimberley's roads. We intend on also upgrading close to 10,000 square meters of, 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 of roads which are in a bad conditions, we want to change them into paving so that, so, so that people can easily access their roads. And also we are looking at a process whereby we want to reinforce all our roads teams within the solar plating municipality to ensure that they are putting more effort in ensuring that they respond to the issue of potholes within Kimberley. A community activist says a change in leadership is needed to restore the city to some form of dignity. The problem is when, when, um, when you have incompetent leaders leading a city, this is what happens because they are now treating the symptoms and not the problem. The, the infrastructure of our town is outdated. It has not been updated in so many years. You cannot keep on building and keep on expanding when you don't fix the problem in the first place. So lack of leadership and, and decisive management is also a problem. Topping off the lack of service delivery in the city, the municipality unveiled a 
10 million rand statue in honor of what would have been Nelson Mandela's 100th birthday. The statue took the municipality three years to complete. Several non-profit organizations have challenged the statue's price. However, no response has been received. Sondre Naidu in Kimberley.